back on 60 years of my life with horses, it's almost overwhelming. Uh, where we started, what we've accomplished. It's hard to imagine how far we've come. I guess it goes back to a deep connection with the important things in my life. As a child, my love for animals was just as natural as the air we all breathe. Somehow, it was the horse that ended up being where my heart landed. I was eight when I first started riding. I could ride all day, and the sun always set too fast. There truly is something about being on a horse that's hard to define. The trust, the faith, the respect and love that really is beyond words. It's a way of our kind to do as we're told. Our nature says run. We're taught to be bold. But if you were the horse A few years after finding Farlata, the Varians added another talented Arabian mare to their young program, the stocky and powerful Ronteza, sired by the Polish imported stallion Vitez II. Ronteza was just a very serious little mare, and I grew to love that. So then I started on cattle, and she got so smart, that little mare. She was just always intuitive. Now fully brimming with love of ranch sports, Sheila became determined to unite her affection for Arabians with her passion for the quarter horse dominated world of reined cow horses, a sport that saw few women in the saddle. She had set her sights on an almost unimaginable goal, riding against professional trainers, all men riding bigger, more muscled quarter horses at the 1961 World Championships inside of one of the most elite coliseums in the country, the Cow Palace in San Francisco. To the Cow Palace in San Francisco come 20,000 spectators. The Cow Palace at that time was the finals. It was called winning the world. If you won the Cow Palace, you just won the world. So we drove up and the Cow Palace was just bigger than anything I'd ever ridden in, and it was all indoors. I'd never ridden indoors. Between the two of us, we were frozen, absolutely paralyzed with fear. Got on her, and when I could feel her heartbeat through the fenders of the saddle, I knew she was on the money. And she flew down that arena, and she turned so hard, and she came off the wall to circle her cow. And as she was making the circle, her feet went out from underneath her, and she went down. I'm thinking, I'm not getting off, because if I got off, it was over. And so they've got this picture of me standing over her, waiting, and she jumped up. And she didn't know she'd fell. She went right back to the head of her cow. She circled up her cow just as tight as could be. Well, now the place goes crazy. It takes a lot out of the horse when they go down. They're moving fast and as hard as they can. And when she went down, she popped back up and it was like nothing had happened. So we won. She was champion, my little bay mare. It was a brilliant achievement that she won the Cow Palace regardless of gender, but the fact that she was a woman and did break through that glass ceiling is very significant to the rest of us gals who are trying to um, you know, have success in a, in a male-dominated industry. That's changed a lot since then, and there are a lot more women that are having a lot of success, but she was definitely the spearhead that made it possible. If I could tell anybody anything, I would say, 
Learn your craft. Be comfortable with what you do. Take a chance. If you're wrong, it's not the worst thing that could ever happen to you. And be quiet when you're successful because pretty soon they'll think it was their idea. It's a way of our